The Say and Think blocks in Scratch will display a speech or thinking bubble next to your sprite. The blocks with the number will display the text for the number of seconds before moving on to the next block in your algorithm. However, the blocks without the number will display the text and immediately move to the next block in your code. The blocks without the numbers will continue to display the text until you use a blank say or think block. For example, if you want a sprite to say something while the mouth moves and to stop saying something after they're done moving their mouth, you put a block with text before the mouth movement and then a blank block after the moving mouth code. You can switch to a specific costume or the next costume in your sprite using these blocks, or you can use these blocks to switch to a specific or next backdrop for your stage. The switch backdrop to block also has the ability to switch to the next, previous, and random backdrops, which is something we don't have for the switch costume to block. We can do a workaround for the previous costume by switching to the current costume number minus one, or switch to a random costume using the pick random number block. You can gradually change the size of the sprite using the change size block, or set the size to a larger or smaller size. To return to the original size, Size, just set your sprite to 100%. You can also change or set a lot of effects on each of your sprites or stage. The color effect will change how your sprite or stage appears, but note that white and black colors won't change much when you use the color effect. The fish eye will cause the sprite or stage to bow outward with a positive number and cave inward with a negative number. The whirl effect will spin the costume or stage counterclockwise with a positive number and clockwise with a negative number. The pixelate effect will lower the resolution of the costume or stage to make it look pixelated. The mosaic effect will make many copies of your sprite or stage in a mosaic block. The brightness effect will make the sprite look brighter with a positive number and darker with a negative number. And the ghost effect works on a scale from zero to 100. Zero ghost effect means you can see the sprite or stage with normal opacity. 50% ghost effect means that you can see through the sprite or stage a little bit. And 100% ghost effect makes the sprite or stage completely invisible. The clear graphic effects block is like setting the color, fisheye, whirl, pixelate, mosaic, brightness, and ghost effects to zero, but it uses only one block to do all of that. The show block will show your sprite and the hide block will hide it. The hide block will make it so you cannot see say or think bubbles or interact with a sprite while it is hidden. However, if you set the ghost effect to 100 on a sprite, it will also hide the sprite, but you can still interact with it by clicking on it or even see the say and think bubbles. The layer blocks are useful for moving a sprite in front of or behind other sprites. You can send the sprite all the way to the front or back or adjust it one layer at a time. The costume, backdrop, and size blocks can be used as variables in your code. For example, to make the sprite speed up or slow down depending on the size of your sprite. You you can also add a pick random number block or a variable to most of the looks blocks to randomly change the appearance of like a game. For example, if you want to randomize what kind of enemies or power-ups appear in a game and how they look without having to create a bunch of different costumes with different color. If you're working on your project and you can't find a lot of the looks blocks, it's because you're on your stage. Just click on a sprite and your block should reappear. Check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.